All right, guys. I got this belt from Allen and Bradley. You see their logo right there. Uh, he started doing belts, and I've been watching him for a while. I've been following him for a while now. I like the stuff he makes. Um, this is the first piece that I got from him, and it was actually a gift. Um, when he started making belts, he put out a video saying that he wanted a few people to give out some belts to so that way they can review them and um, give an opinion on the quality of his belts. I will say that I'm familiar with the leather that he uses. He uses um, leather from Wicked and Craig. Uh, I love the leather. I actually love the style. The style of this belt, I wore it for two weeks straight and I really enjoyed it. It fit well, but I'm here to give an honest review. Um, my honest review is I do not know if this is his styling or if this is because he gave me this belt for free and just kind of rushed it. But if you notice, I sent him my size. Um, I don't know if he's using six holes on all of his belts or if he just did it on this one. Again, I don't know because uh, he wanted me to do a review and I would have personally sent me the best that I had. Um, but I don't like the fact that it only uses six holes. It should use five holes or seven holes because the hole you wear it on should be the middle hole always. So six does not allow for you to use the middle hole. You're either going to use, um, you know, the third one or the fourth one, which I, I personally don't like that. So I don't know if that's a styling issue with him. The stitching, love it, man. My wife actually loves the stitching. Uh, she wants me to start doing my belts with stitching, but I only do hand stitching. So big difference. This is done with a machine. Uh, good stitching, though. Really nice. Really nice styling. The other big issue that I had is all this. So as you see, I wore it on this hole. And then I have all this belt left over when the end of the belt should be somewhere in this area. Uh, so I had all this much belt that I was tucking into my belt loops. And again, I don't know if that's because he sent me a free belt and I actually had to sweat him a little bit. He told me he was going to send me a belt. I waited. I didn't get it. Reached back out to him. Uh, he told me he was going to send me a belt. I waited. I didn't get it. He told me he had a lot of things going on uh, at the time. And then uh, the last time I reached out to him, he's like, man, I thought I sent you the belt already. I'm sorry. And he sent the belt right out. So I'm not sure if that was a rush job just for me because he was giving me a free belt. I, I mean, I don't know. So if this is his style, I think it needs to change. Uh, the end of the belt should be down here somewhere. Um, everything else is amazing. Everything else looks really, really good. Um, styling colors. I like the black and white contrast. I know he uses a lot of nice contrasting colors on his wallets and other things. So I can't wait to see if he's doing it on belts as well. And again, I don't know how much he's doing belts. I know he's known for his wallets and things like that. So my overall review is great material, great workmanship, great hardware, solid brass. I, I, I know that's solid brass antique uh, brass finish on the one that he sent me uh, sizing was good but again my only problems are this is a really bad styling if this is what he's doing and this is bad styling if this is what he's doing I would like to see him go to seven or five holes and I would definitely like to see this cut down to somewhere reasonable when I wear my belts um, and when I make my belts, because I, I also make handmade belts, from the middle hole, let me, so I'm using one hand here, so let me do this. Okay, from the middle hole, you see that there's enough room for the two more holes ends somewhere near the belt loop. 
so mine would end somewhere about here and there would be enough room just to tuck into your first pants belt loop and if it doesn't it's still just enough to get past the belt loop and it doesn't stick out all crazy so look at how far this one stuck out i had to tick tuck it into several belt loops and also this was unfinished so again i really don't know if, if, if he just sent me one because i was that guy that you know i was the first one that saw his video and i was the first one to contact him i imagine because i saw the video right when it came out and i contacted him immediately for you know the free belt he was offering as um when he started doing the belts he wanted people to review them so i got one and i don't know if what i got was something he just slapped together i fully intended to do this review so i hope that wasn't the case um so as long as he fixes these couple styling issues i think he's uh, putting out nice and i know it's quality uh from the material he's using but i'm thinking he's putting out some nice belts uh if you have any questions just ask thanks